Although they say that time waits for no man, on May 13th in London's Piccadilly, the Sci-Fi Channel attended the event that proved this adage wrong. The premiere screening of the long-awaited Doctor Who film. There are thousands, like thousands upon thousands, of loyal fans waiting for this moment. Speaking to some of the privileged people attending the screening, we found out their expectations before the film and their reactions after it, while some of the people responsible for the show's return gave us the background on its latest regeneration. But first, a sneak preview of what's to come. Who are you? It's just unbelievably exciting that the program's coming back after all this time. I think it's very exciting. There's a lot of very excited people around here. It's a great program, and I've had a ball. I did three years doing it, playing it, playing the part, and had a wonderful time. It is also a British institution. But not all institutions are worth keeping, so what's so special about this one? Well, I know that Doctor Who has so many fans, and uh, for uh, a very long time now, I've, I've, I've received a huge amount of correspondence about it. And uh, here were enthusiasts, uh, the people from Universal. Originally, we, we started this project off with Steven Spielberg. So it seemed to me that, that was, if we were going to have a partnership, uh, then uh, that was a, as good a partnership as any. And we found Fox very committed and enthusiastic about it. And uh, so I felt, you know, we must give it this opportunity. Phil Siegel, who's the executive producer, is a, is a I think it's fair to say, a Doctor Who fanatic. And uh, he's English, uh, living in America, but he was really, really brought up on Doctor Who. And he's been uh, very insistent that, 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 that we're, we're very truthful to the, the original stories. Even though we're, a new audience has to you know, discover things for the first time. We're trying to make it accessible for that audience, but also um, trying to make it so that they, the, the fans who stuck with the show for the last 30 years or whatever still appreciate it and they don't think we're going off and doing something that's just sort of, quote, Americanized. Well, I think it's, it's very true to say that there is a very strong fan base and I, I talk to a lot of those fans. I know that they really, really want Doctor Who to come back. Equally, though, I think there's a new audience, and I think this film really um, does its best to, to appeal to that new audience. I mean, I have to say, I think the film is fantastic. I think when people see it, they'll be excited by it, they'll be amused by it, they'll, I mean, they'll just love it. I hope that, that they feel the same way as I do about it. With so much resting on the performance of the new Doctor, how difficult was it to cast the role? Incredibly difficult, finding the right person, finding someone who in terms of you know the americans would make a commitment to it i think we're incredibly lucky to have got paul to do it um i'd heard that they um they'd got one of the guys from with nail and i and my first impression was that it was going to be uh, richard e grant and i bet there's other people who made that mistake but um everything i've ever seen him in is superb we had a, the scares when people like david hasselhoff and mickey mouse and oj simpson and just about everybody else was up for the role of doctor who but i always felt it was going to be a british actor i was determined that we would have that the casting would be as right as we could make it, that uh, an actor of, of real stature would take the part, uh, that we wouldn't concede that an American would play it. And uh, we've won on all those scores, and I feel that's a real, real success story. Paul McGann is extraordinarily well cast. He has amazing eyes. There's something about the look of him. You can look at a person and say, yes, he would make a good doctor. I think that that helps tremendously with the whole idea of Doctor Who being somebody who has a slightly childlike quality that you look at and think, yeah, I can believe that this man travels through time. But the real judges will be the audience. What do they hope to see? What it's going to be like, I don't know. I've heard that it's kind of dark and mysterious and brooding. Some people have said it's kind of leaning towards the X-Files. Uh, as a Doctor Who fan, I think it sounds very exciting. As a family man, I'm a little bit worried that X-Files may not be really considered to be family viewing. I'm, I'm just interested to see what the Americans have done with it and, and how, they've, how they've looked after it and what direction they've taken it in um, and how it's changed in the seven years it's been off air. So how